Tech Tips by Inside Sim Racing, brought to you by iRacing.com, where you can try out the new Lotus 49. Join iRacing now for only $5 by clicking on the link at Inside Sim Racing. The T500 is a unique wheel in the sim market. One of its notable features are the fixed paddle shifters. Since the launch of the wheel, Thrustmaster has introduced the Ferrari F1 and GT add-on wheels. Both have their own paddle shifters that rotate and perhaps you no longer want the fixed paddles sitting in the way. Well, it turns out in the FAQ section of the Thrustmaster support page, there are instructions on how to remove your paddle shifters and most importantly, not void the factory warranty. If done this way, it would also be easy to add the paddles back at a later time. All you need for this project is a Phillips head screwdriver. Before we begin, we remove the wheel from the base and also very carefully remove the screw that locks down the wheel collar. Step one is to remove the six small black Phillips screws that hold the cover on the wheel area. There's a plastic tab on the top and bottom of that cover that hold this piece in alignment and you might need to pry up slightly to actually remove it. The next step is to remove the four outermost screws. These are holding the paddle shifter assembly onto the base and you should pull it top down and lay it down on the table. The next step are to remove the two plugs on the shifter assembly connecting it to the base. One of mine is marked with ink, the other is bare. Make note of which is which and unplug both connections. This will free up the assembly and you can now remove the two silver screws on the ring. Step four, with the screws removed, you can now pull up each side and wiggle out the paddle shifters and their two springs per side. Once removed, carefully place the top ring back on the bottom and install the two screws. The next step, plug the two connectors back into their positions and place the ring back on the wheel assembly. Install the four silver screws that hold the assembly in place. Step six is to place the outer cover on the base, making sure to align the top and bottom tabs and install the six black screws back into their positions. Now add the screw back to the wheel collar, add your favorite wheel, and you're back up and running. Your games and configurations should remain unchanged. I'm Sean Cole for Inside Sim Racing, and I'll see you on the track.